By now, most of America has been exposed to the media onslaught dealing with an incident at the 46th annual March for Life gathering in Washington, D.C., Friday, January 18th, with headlines like students in mega hats mock Native American after rally, video of Kentucky students mocking Native American man draws outcry, and mob of Catholic schoolboys goes viral for harassing Native Americans. Is there any doubt that this story was manufactured to cast a shadow on pro-life Americans and take another jab at Trump? You got that right. For a good 48 hours, the elite uh, left-wing media, Hollywood celebrities, Democrat leaders, even Republican never-Trumpers joined in a cacophony of raucous and slanderous rhetoric attacking the pro-life, pro-Trump teenagers of Covenant Catholic High School in Kentucky. Kara Schwisser of New York Times called the pro-life Catholic students Nazis. Hollywood producer Jack Morrissey called for them to be killed when he tweeted, Mega kids go screaming, hats first, into the wood chipper. Alex Kranz, editor at Gizmodo, denounced on Twitter her hatred of the pro-Trump white privilege boys. CNN's legal analyst Bakari Sellers and CNN's contributor Reza Aslan called for violence against the pro-life Catholic boys of Covenant High School. Democrat Congressman John Yarmuth tweeted, I'm calling for a total and complete shutdown of teenagers wearing mega hats until we figure out what is going on. They seem to be poisoning young minds. But this Make America Great Again hat is just as maddening and frustrating and triggering for me to look at as a KKK hood. When a longer version of the incident was discovered and it totally exonerated the pro-life, pro-Trump Catholic teenagers, many embarrassed lefties deleted their vile tweets or refused to apologize, saying those Catholic boys are still guilty of white privilege and must be racist anyways. The rush to judgment by the media, Hollywood, Democrats, and even Republican never-Trumpers is a sad and yet very disturbing micro-example of the macro-worldview war we are in right now. Those students of Covenant Catholic High School were exercising their First Amendment right as they were peaceably assembling with other pro-life students and adults from across America. They were attacked, maligned, ridiculed, and threatened by left-wing racists because there is an alarming, vicious hatred in America for conservative, traditional, pro-life Christian Catholic values. My fellow Americans, President Trump right now, more than ever before, needs our prayers and our support in a hundred different ways. The left is hell-bent on destroying the heavenly values of life, liberty, and family virtue in our republic that was once under God. President Reagan always reminded us that if we ever forget that there was one nation under God, then we will be a nation gone under. God forbid that we allow this to happen on our watch. I'm Dr. Jake Jacobs, and we'll see you next time on One Nation.